who do you feel is the person that really is the proprietor of Boogie? Like a slowed down version, same disco pulse, but less less cluttered and more groove based. In other words, more for the backyard barbecue than Studio Fifty Four. Like, well, if you ask anybody in London, they would tell you it's me. Um, I, I say it's you as well. <laughs> yeah, well, straight up. I I don't know. I just come from Harlem, right? In Harlem, while disco is like kind of up and 120, 120, right. and like you know, get your heart rate going and so forth. I'm I'm from that chill, boom, chill, mm-hmm. boom, 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 boom. I'm there, right? In terms of where I want to create and where the groove is for me, right? right. So. When I did songs like Fat Rat, when I created Let's Do It, and so forth, that's where we at. We swinging right there. We're not interested in boom, 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 boom. Now, we we do these records for record companies who, in their brilliance, uh, in, in their moments of genius, they decide, all right, let's take it and give it to somebody. Tell them to speed it up. Disco speed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Add the disco to it. Um, but as far as Boogie is just a chilled out, laid back kind of groovy joint, all right, where you can still party hard to it without, you know, having a cardiac arrest. Right. <laughs> yeah. A two step. Yeah. Well, wait, wait, let me, let me ask him about. So for me, a song, uh, why was Sweet to Me ever considered like a single from, from the log record? On the log album, sweet to me, so sweet. That's like I go heavy on that song when I do my boogie sets, and I always wanted to know why wasn't that ever like given the single treatment? Well, because it, the, the the hierarchy, Ken Care, Stan Care, um, at South Soul Records, uh, they decided that the only well. There would be two singles. There would be uh I Know You Will, which was the Larry LeVan record. Right. Um, You Got That Something, right? Mm-hmm. And then um Dancing into the Stars. Right. The others laid on the line, um, Sweet to Me. Mm-hmm. Uh they never really made it into the forefront of of being a single, uh, in terms of South Soul's feeling or what they decided to do. So, so they um, just felt it was filler. Yeah, they felt it was filler. But here's the big story. That about is crazy. That. But here's the big story about that. We mentioned Universal Robot Band, right? Yes, sir. Barely breaking even. <laughs> All right. Barely breaking even is actually the seventh song from the Log album. Oh. Uh, okay. Gotcha. All right. Barely breaking even, we recorded to close the log album out. All right. That's when we got all of the musicians, all of the singers who were put together the log project. We called them all in the studio for, I think it was an 18 hour session or something like that. Right. Mm-hmm. Everybody was, you know, we fed everybody, made sure everybody was comfortable. It was plenty of stuff to smoke. And, you know, we was, you know, it was a happy session. And I said, mm-hmm. we're going to do this great record where everybody's going to sing and it's going to be like this giant quiet and and we're all going to talk about how hard it is to keep money in our pocket, barely breaking even, right? What happened was our co-producer, Greg Carmichael, heard the record and was very pleased with it, Mm -hmm. right? And decided to go to South Soul to get a little extra paper. A little extra paper. I want a little extra. Can't care said no. Greg said, in the middle of the night, around 2.30 in the morning, right, he went to the studio, Air was recording, and he told him, I want to make a safety of the master of the 24, two-inch 24 track. I want to mm-hmm. make it, and I'll bring it right back. That Later that day, we went to mix the song, to do a final mix of, of the song to complete the album, and found it not to be there. 
So, of course, we're like, oh, my God, what the hell? How did y'all let it go? All right. And so we get on the phone with Can't Care. So, so we coming down there right now. Greg took the tape, blah, 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 blah. We expected Ken Care to be completely up in arms about the loss of barely breaking even. Right? Mm -hmm. That's when Ken told us about, well, Greg came and was looking for extra paper, so forth and so on. I did not want to give it to him. And that's why he, you know, commandeered the tape. Right? Essentially, the outrage that we expected from Ken Care was not to be found. All right? He his basic position was we've already got these six great tunes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need the, the 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 extra of 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 you know. So that's when uh, some months later it was released on Moonglow Records as Universal Robot Band. But that barely breaking even is the seventh song from the Log album. Okay, that's amazing man! Wow. 